Oh no! Does this happen to you? Dirty aluminum welds can be downright embarrassing and cause a grown ass man to throw a temper tantrum in the middle of the shop. Introducing the push technique. Say goodbye to those soot covered welds for the low, low price of 40 CFH and a change in direction. You too can go from trash to treasure. Act now while supplies last. This offer cannot be combined with any other offer. All sales final at the time of purchase. Customer agrees to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the Long Ranger disguised himself as a door and Tano shut his knob off. Thanks, weird voiceover guy. Uh, well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than what we do. We had a lot of fun trying to mess around and make it. Uh, so hopefully you guys found it entertaining. But one thing we get questions a lot about is, why do I always get black stuff or black soot all over my weld when I'm using aluminum? And it doesn't matter if it's a push-pull system or if it's a spool gun doesn't matter. You're going to want to use a push technique because you're actually pushing your shielding gas down that weldment and that's what you want to do. When you're dragging it, you're not pushing the atmosphere out of the way. You're kind of covering up where you've been, not where you're going. So you want to make sure you have shielding gas out in front of the puddle to, uh, to push the contaminants and the atmosphere out of the way. Uh, another common question we get all the time is, hey, I'm getting fish eyes at the end of my craters. One thing you can do if you have uh, the advantage of having a post flow on your push-pull gun or your spool gun, use about four to five seconds of post flow. If you don't have that option, you can go off half cocked. And what I mean by that is if you pull the trigger all the way down, you're getting shielding gas and you're getting wire. If you only pull the trigger about halfway, you're just getting the shielding gas. So once you terminate that weld, allow it to fill in for just a split second longer, and then back off on the trigger, you still get shielding gas. Hold it there for a few seconds. Let it solidify under that argon enriched environment before you pull away from the weld. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, post any comments down in the comment section below if you have any questions. And until next time, make your world better than your last. Oh no! Does this happen to you? Dirty aluminum welds can be downright embarrassing and cause a grown ass man to throw a temper tantrum in the middle of the shop. Introducing the push technique. Say goodbye to those soot covered welds for the low, low price of 40 CFH and a change in direction. You too can go from trash to treasure. Act now while supplies last. This offer cannot be combined with any other offer. All sales final at the time of purchase. Customer agrees to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the Lone Ranger disguised himself as a door and Tano shut his knob off. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>